What up, what up, GST for JP in the house. JP in, in the house. Ugh. I'm on my way to work. It's Sunday night. I got a class at 8 o'clock. Anyway, I'm going to make this other video. I'll, uh, it, was, it was interesting. I want to put it up. I need to put it up. But... I was putting it up, but on my own computer takes so long. So I'll just do a little remix, remake of it. Anyway, I got this comment on one of my Do You Love Black Men videos. I think it's the one about Kazu or something. This guy says that, you know, if I'm come over here asking girls if they love black men or if they're in love with black men, which I don't know. How he turned do you love black men into in love with black men and all that stuff. But anyway, it doesn't matter because, you know, some people are, some people aren't. And then he said, with my skin, black is uh, charcoal. And, you know, it was very interesting because when he said that, you know, I thought about um, today's events. I went to uh, work this morning. I arrived in uh, Kelbashi, Osaka about, I don't know. I don't know, this morning anyway, and um, it was hot, this morning, I mean, um, it was really hot, and so I just went and, you know, um, got off the train, walking and stuff, and um, at this one light, you know, there's a bridge where the train cross over and stuff like that, and, uh, and uh, let's see, uh, people are just standing there, crossing right across the street, but everyone was standing in the shade. You know, and I kind of noticed, like, it was this one white guy, he was over there, too. And he, um, he, um, was kind of, like, um, standing, like, close to under the bridge in the shade. And I was like, what is he doing standing that far from the corner? You know, and everyone else was, like, you know, I mean, it wasn't a corner. It was just, like, a, a path, um, in the middle of the street, you know, where they got, like, a uh, arcade and stuff where people go shopping and stuff. Anyway, I was like, why is he standing so far away from the light? You know, so I went, you know... And, and me, I mean, me, it's just normal. I just go stand out in the sun. You know, it's hot. You know, I can feel the heat. But still, it feels good to me, you know. And I just stood in the sun. Then I noticed that um, I was the only person standing in the sun. And I was just thinking to myself, you know how sometimes you get these stupid thoughts in your head, right? So uh, I was thinking to myself, wow, I bet you these Japanese people and that one um, white girl is probably standing why is that black guy standing in the sun over there? He's don't he know it's so hot, you know. And and I and I started laughing at myself, you know. Yeah, I probably do look kind of stupid standing over here in the sun, while because it's really hot, you know what I'm saying. And everyone else is standing in the shade. And then I got to thinking about that. I was like, wait a minute, no, no, it's not stupid. Because I'm dark and uh, I have natural protection from the sun and all the elements. And sure, it's warm. I mean, you know, that's okay. Because, like, you know, you sit in front of a fireplace, it's going to be warm. You know, you're going to feel that, you know, but still, you know, and it wasn't like uh, I was sweating and all that stuff, you know. And uh, I turned around and I, I looked at everyone again and I was like, wow. You know, and then when I left, going back to the station to catch the train and stuff like that, you know, the same thing happened. I, you know, I just walked right over to the, you know, edge of the um, pedestrian crosswalk where it's all painted and stuff and the area and stuff. And people were just, you know, the same thing, same thing happened, you know, excuse me, same thing happened. You know, I just walked right out into the sun and stood there and everyone else, you know, people carrying their umbrellas, you know, and everyone's standing in the shade, and I kind of started to laugh, you know, and I was thinking to myself, wow, you know, it's kind of reminded me of Hawaii, and saying all my Filipino friends and stuff, and, uh, huh, Filipino friends, I wonder if that's good to say, well, anyway, my friends from the Philippines and stuff like that, or, your Filipino friends, I guess that's fine, and, uh, I used to say, yo, let's go play some ball, I'm like, oh, no, it's too hot. I'm like, what do you mean it's too hot? It feels good outside. No, no, it's too hot. The sun is out. And it's too hot. We're going to wait till it um, cools down a little bit. I'm like, huh? You know? You know? And I'm like, what are you guys talking about in the Philippines? Are you burning up hot over there? 
you know, people be outside and stuff. No, 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 it's just, this is too hot, you know, and I was like, and I, I, never, I never really dined on me. But, you know, I mean, it dined on me um, yesterday. I was thinking, like, wow, you know, I got a natural protectant, you know, and when I was in the military, too, um, I was talking to one of my friends, white guy, and he was like, um, you know, I, and it was real strange that he even mentioned it, you know, but he said, you know, my eyes hurt every time I look at those planes. I'm like, what do you mean your eyes hurt, you know? He said, yeah, every time I look at them, you know, at the planes, my eyes hurt. And I'm like, okay. And I'm not quite figuring out what he's saying. And he said, what about you? I said, no. Nah. I said, you know, I mean, there's a little glare, but, I mean, I can go over there and stare at them planes all day. It doesn't really bother me, you know? And um, I think he had blue eyes or something like that. But he was, like, talking about the reflection. And he said, come here. So we went outside to the plane and, he said, you know, he said he looked at it, you know, because it was these white planes that they're called like uh, T-38s and stuff, test planes. And he was like, you know, when I look at it, it's really bright and really bothers my eyes. You know, I guess the reflection comes in, it's real bright and stuff. And I said, oh, you know, it doesn't, it's not like that to me, you know. And he's like, you serious? I said, yeah, you know. And I got to thinking, you know, because uh, I don't know, you know, it was just, it was just weird, you know. And... It was just strange, you know, and so when I read that message when he said that, you know, I got to thinking, you know, um, maybe a lot of people really don't understand the difference, you know, when you have um, light skin and dark skin, how much, how much difference, I mean, really, there's a big difference. Um, like me and my friends, um, we'll be, um, uh, I was in the military, and we walk with my friends, like, wow, it's so hot out here, you know, like, no, nah, it's not so hot, and they say, yeah, it's hot, my skin is burning up. I'm like, huh? He's like, yeah, my skin is burning up. I'm really hot. You know, I need some water to put on my skin. I'm like, what are you talking about? He said, yeah. And I'm like, that's strange. My skin is not hot. He said, why not? My skin is hot. Your skin should be hot too. I'm like, no, 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 it's not hot. You know, so he grabbed my arm and he was like, oh my God, your skin is cool. I said, yeah. And I grabbed his arm and his hair was hot. And I was like, whoa, man, you are burning up. What the hell? You know, and he's like, I don't know. And of course, you know, we're not thinking about the uh, melanin and, you know, the darkness, you know, the dark uh, absorbs, you know, the um, sunlight and the rays and it doesn't reflect. Basically, it doesn't reflect. And since it doesn't reflect off the surface, you know, then my, my the surface of my skin stays cool. But here's it reflects off of it. So, it, um, and, uh, heats up his skin and stuff, you know, and, you know, he get, can get real bad sunburn and stuff, you know, and I was, and it, and it was just real weird, because back then, I just, I just didn't think about it, you know, and it's, it's real interesting, because even, like, with the hair and everything, you know, um, the curly hair, you know, um, my hair, when the wind blows, you know, because, um, you know, you got those pockets where the, um, your, the wind can blow through your hair and stuff like that, you know, keep your hair pretty cool, you know. And uh, I guess, you know, if your hair is laying down, you know, or if you don't cut it, you know, it's constantly hot and stuff like that, you know. And the wind, when it blows, it doesn't get a chance to, uh, you don't get a chance to get that uh, cool air, you know, going through your, through your, um, through your, um, what is it called? Over your scalp and stuff like that. And then and I even read this one book where it said, you know, that when people in a hot uh, climate, you know, they have um, the nostrils are bigger or something like that, and and uh, and and their nose isn't as long because you know th the heat is right there, so they can suck up that uh, breathe in that warm air into the body because you know in the in your I mean like a lot of people catch colds and stuff, and and probably the primary Maybe maybe the main thing about it, and I told my friend, you know, I said maybe it's just because you just on the inside of your body it's just too cold. You know, you gotta stop drinking all that cold water all the time. You drink some warm or you know some uh, lukewarm water or something like that, or water at the uh, ambient temperature or whatever. And and she was she was laughing. No, no, that's not true. And then she went to the hospital, you know, and came back and said, Wow, you know, the doctor told me exactly the same thing which you just said. 